The Gulf Western Oil 51st Winter Nationals is coming up in just a few days. Now one of the guys that's going to be trying to take out the championship and the event this year is Steve Reed in the All-Star Batteries Funny Car running in Pro Alcohol. We went out to the All-Star Batteries uh, workshops just to find out how things are going for Steve. Well Steve, the Gulf Western Oil Winter National is coming up again. It's always a huge event, but this year a little bit extra importance for you. You're leading the championship in Pro Alcohol. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've uh, gone into the final race of the year leading the championship, so looking forward to it and hopefully we can um, do well and manage to take it away. It's been Russell Mills that's been snapping at your heels all season. It looks like uh, it's a bit of a two-way battle between you guys. Yeah, yeah it is. I mean, Russell and I have been um, fighting it out. I mean, Russell's had an excellent car all season. He's, he's been in every final. So uh, um, I've been three out of four finals, which is, which is a fantastic achievement for both of us. Well, Sydney Dragway has just been a place where you've been unbeatable this season, but Willowbank, your home track, you struggle a little bit here. Yeah, for some reason we've got a setup that's been working in Sydney and, you know, definitely happy about that. Uh, Willowbank's different, not better, not worse, not any, just different. And um, we struggle a little bit at Easter, trying to find the, the sweet spot for the car. So hopefully we can, we can nail it this weekend. Well, Gulf Western Oil's Winter Nationals always brings out the big guns, and I think we've got 15 entries in pro alcohol. Only eight get to race in eliminations. It puts yeah. a lot of pressure on qualifying, particularly for you. I mean, yeah. you've got to make the field, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we do. I, to, I mean, I have to make the field. If I don't make the field and, and Russell goes a couple of rounds, so he takes the championship. So, yeah, with 15 good cars there, every single one of them is a quality car, all capable of winning this weekend. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough. We've just got to, we've got to be one of those eight to get to play on Sunday. Traction's never a problem at the Winter Nationals, that's for sure. And the air conditions normally produce big horsepower figures. Is that a challenge in itself? It is. It's just getting that, finding that sweet spot, that, what the car likes, you know, and it's mainly that first 100 feet off the start line. We've just got to try and get that right. And, and like I said before, we struggle at Easter um, to find that spot. But um, uh, we've got some plans and, and we'll see where they come off. Obviously, the Winter National is not only big entry fields, but the spectators. They just pack into the place in tens of thousands. What about that atmosphere? Oh, yeah, the atmosphere at the Wind Nationals is the best. I mean, it's so fantastic with the crowd being, the grandstands being so close to the racetrack, it's uh, it definitely got the atmosphere that we all love to race in front of. So, Sunday night, hopefully, presentation stage. Let's face it, if you win the event, the championship's yours, and you pick up two Christmas trees. Yeah, well, that'd be fantastic. I mean, uh, definitely been a long time between drinks of winning championships. I think, you know, we haven't won one since 1994, which is, which is a lifetime away for most people. So, um, yeah, we'll definitely be doing our best. Well, good luck, mate, and I hope you have a great weekend. Okay, thanks very much.